Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us today. Well, it's September, and that means fall allergies. This time of year, especially dangerous for those who uh, suffer from allergies and, and respiratory diseases like asthma and COPD. Our guest today is Dr. David Shi, co-founder of City MD Urgent Care, and he's going to talk to us about this new nebulizer called FLIP. Welcome to the program, doctor. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell us uh, about yourself. What do you practice? So I am a board-certified emergency medicine physician, um, currently in the urgent care field. Uh, the practice is stationed mainly in the New York metropolitan area. So we service um, millions of people uh, over the years. Now, I said that we were going to talk about this uh, a new nebulizer. What is a nebulizer and who needs to use one of those things? So I think, uh, well, that's a very good question. Nebulizer is a device that uh, turns uh, liquid medicine into a mist, and it's oftentimes and very, very commonly used in conditions such as asthma and COPD or you know chronic obstructive lung disease. Uh, nebulizer delivers the same type of medicine as a meter dose inhaler, uh, or called an MDI. Um, the difference is that nebulizer is a little bit more effective when the patient is struggling to breathe uh, because it delivers a mist and just easier to to breathe this in. Um, oftentimes, it is used in the acute care setting, in the emergency rooms, in urgent care setting, as a way to get the patient back into uh, normal breathing status. So nebulizers have been around for a while. What is it about FLIP that's so remarkable? FLIP is, in, is unique in that it is the smallest and lightest uh, mobile nebulizer to be cleared by the FDA. Um, it's small enough to fit in your pocket. It is about the size of your mobile phone. And unlike the traditional nebulizers out there, which are generally very bulky and stationary, um, FLIP is uh, small and mobile. So this offers a lot of advantages. Um, Main thing is that it's fast, it's efficient, it's quiet, uh, it's unique that it's easy to use. There's three quick steps, fill, click, breathe. Essentially, fill the, fill the cartridge with the medication, you click the button, and you breathe in the medicated uh, ne nebulized mist that comes out of it. So uh, it doesn't require any additional masks or tubes that you'll see in a traditional nebulizer. And because it's uh, small, it's uh, powered by a battery, uh, you don't need to be plugged in and stationary like a traditional nebulizer. So uh, this allows you the ability to uh, go about your business, move about. You know, it's an on-the-go uh, nebulizer. Uh, the charge is good for about 10 treatments, and uh, each treatment lasts for about seven minutes. Uh, so I think because of its mobility, because of its uh, size, it's really changed a lot of people's view about the treatment of asthma and COPD and other respiratory diseases in, in certain situations. Does it uh, work as well with uh, infants? A lot of infants need to use a nebulizer. Is this something that can be used with a, with a baby? So currently, FLIP is approved for 13 years old and above. And certainly, the focus is also to provide a FLIP for the pediatric population. Uh, there's just a lot more safety checklists that uh, you know, the smart people at FLIP have to, um, you know, overcome and, and, and uh, make sure the FDA approves. But uh, I'm very optimistic that FLIP will be available to the pediatric uh, population very soon. Now, we did talk about COPD and, and asthma, but during the fall especially, there are people who suffer from allergies who um, may just need to use this very very sporadically and not something ongoing, like, say, with asthma or, or COPD. You say the charge is good for about 10 treatments. Does it s stay charged as long as it's not being used? So it's similar to any product that's charged. You know, it's charged by a simple USB uh, port. And, uh, you know, it, it has the uh, battery life of 10 usage. So if it's not used, it, it's, it's good for 10 uses. Um, once you know, the, the, the power levels are low, it just needs to be recharged. So it's very simple and easy to use like your phone. And I guess it doesn't matter what type of uh, medicine that you, that you use, uh, it's going to turn it into that mist if it's that type of medication. 
Right. So nebulized treatment is, is fairly standard. It's fairly uh, normal. And, and to kind of answer the questions we've talked about before, there's a lot of patients, uh, millions of people who suffer from allergies from, from, from the weather and the, uh, from the fall. Uh, because during the fall, there's a lot of environmental triggers, right? The cold air, the, the high pollen counts, uh, ragweed, mold, mildew, uh, the raking of the leaves uh, sometimes can trigger a lot of allergies. Uh, and, and if you are in a household with pets that, that go outdoors and, and then comes back in, they can certainly bring some of these allergens uh, back home. Um, you know, I think for the most part, patients can deal with allergies in, in, in a lot of different ways. They, um, you know, they stay indoors when the pollen count's high. Uh, if they know they suffer from allergies, you know, having an air filter is very helpful or being on over-the-counter medication is very helpful. But uh, there are people with allergies uh, where it gets uh, to a point where it starts affecting their breathing and it starts triggering uh, asthma. Uh, so having an on-the-go nebulizer uh, like Flip is, is, is handy, it's helpful. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of advantages on having a, uh, this kind of freedom and the state that, uh, that uh, Flip can offer. Is Flip easy to uh, take apart and reassemble for, for cleaning or maintenance by the, by the person who's using it? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the, when Flip was designed, the idea was that it needs to be easy, it needs to be simple to use. It's very easy to clean. Uh, that's definite. Um, the, I, and, and the reason for that is because you want to improve compliance. So one of the things that has um, gotten providers and patients excited is that when you have a neb nebulizers are new, but when you have a nebulizer that's easy to use, when you have a nebulizer that's portable, uh, now potentially the compliance of medication is higher. And, uh, you know, asthma has always traditionally been one of those very tough chronic diseases that's hard to manage. Some, some of the, and, and some of the reason is due to noncompliance of medication. And asthma is also one of those disease processes that leads to higher increase in ER visits. So when uh, there's a product uh, like Flip that potentially could offer patients a safety net, offer patients um, a freedom to move about, uh, you know, th there's, a, there's a good opportunity to uh, lower these ER visits. There's a good opportunity to improve compliance. So there's quite a lot of value uh, when uh, patients uh, and providers, uh, when they see this product, the, the common question is, hey, where do I get one of these things? Where can we go online and learn how to uh, get our hands on one? So uh, there are two websites that uh, you can look at. One is called flipnebulizer.com, and the second one is justnebulizer.com. And flip is spelled F-L-Y-P, just to uh, clarify. Correct, F-L-Y-P, right. FlipNebulizer.com. And just nebulizers with an S.com. Just nebulizers with an S. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Shi. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of the program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. Be sure and visit our affiliates page when you visit our platform at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, and download at SoundCloud.